So this is a, I don't know, nine day old infant who was home, born by C-section at 38 weeks. Mom had previous C-section, so that's why she had the C-section, was discharged at day three with mom, has been home eating, wetting diapers, taking naps and doing normal baby stuff. And mom got a phone call that she needed to call her pediatrician. She did. And the pediatrician said, your newborn screen just came back as abnormal. I want you to go to the emergency room. They showed up in the emergency room. They were told that the congenital adrenal hyperplasia screen was positive. And the ER has drawn some labs that you see here on the cow, but they haven't really done anything else. And they sent the baby up to us. Yeah, so do we have IV access? You do, uh, you yep, there's IVs. one IV in there. There's two. The yeah, there's one in his foot and one in his arm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, immediate thing I would like to do is, um, I don't know dosing, but calcium gluconate to protect the heart. Okay. Um, with the K of that high, and then, um, I forget, what do we use for like first step? Insulin, do we use insulin or albuterol? I think insulin yeah. first, right? It doesn't really matter. Yeah. 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 All right, the, you said calcium gluconate's been given. Yeah, so we'd like to give insulin also for um, to help pump some potassium out of the bloodstream into the cells. Okay. All right. I'm giving insulin now. How much insulin did you want to give? I'm not sure. We would give dextrose with that because the sugar was 130. Um, I'm I don't really know the dosing the corrections for my blood sugar. So you guys want insulin or you want dextrose or what do you want? Both. Is there one before the other? It would be both. We would hook them up to dextrose fluids and give insulin. Um, I'm just, I'm not sure if we would bolus them with the dextrose in conjunction. You don't want to give the dextrose first? You give dextrose first? First. Just think about this. So do you guys want a bolus of dextrose or you want an infusion of dextrose or what do you want? I have bolus. Yeah, we can bolus. Yeah, I guess we'll do uh like five per kilo D10 bolus. D10, okay. Give All him right. insulin and then hook him up to D10 fluids given his age. Okay, Wait, so um, I have I have a five per kilo of D10 bolus here. Uh, I'm gonna give that uh, now. Then it would be point one mix per keg of insulin. Okay, great. Okay. Units. Okay. All right. Do then one. I'm going to give him an insulin dose. Okay. Yeah. We didn't get five carb yet. We All got right. to stop on the dosing of insulin for 20 minutes. The insulin um, is in. And then, does anyone know dosing of sodium bicarb? Uh, let's see here. Uh, one to two milli equivalents per kilogram dose. So, one milli equivalent per kilogram? Yeah. Um, one milli equivalent per kilogram of sodium bicarb. Okay. He's All right. I'm also, giving... Can you check and see if the patient has a pulse for me, please? The patient. Mm, no, I don't feel a pulse. Okay. So he's yeah, he's in VTAC. So what we do chest compressions. Yes. Yeah, 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 sir. Yeah. Get, get pad, start chest compression. So Anurata, if you could start compressions, please initially or whoever's first. That's great. Thank you, Dr. Slater. Doing compressions and I'll put the pads on. Okay, and then this is a, is this an unsync or a sync? It should be like unsync, right? But you guys want me to get the defibrillator? I'll go get it really quick. Yeah, defibrillator, right please. And then Dr. Slayman, is the patient breathing on their own currently? No? Does not seem to be breathing. Is there anybody else in the room that could help bag? All right, you're the defibrillator's doing... here. Perfect, whoever can help if they're not and you're doing one person CPR, do 30 to two for your compressions and breaths. Okay, the defibrillator's then, here, so what do you want me to press on it? Is this um, thing how again? Much, do we know how much the kid weighs? I forget. It would be he, two joules. He weighs four kilos. So it would be eight joules. Okay, so you want me to press the sync button again? No, we'll keep it. This will be an unsync defib, so. Okay. We'll just charge. All right? right, so eight joules is on, so I'm going to press charge. Yep. All right, so we're charging. All right, everybody hands off the patient. Okay. And we're going to shock. Shock deliver. Resume compressions. I forgot. We'll do the next time. Uh, what do you guys want to do next? Yeah, Mepi. <laughs> okay. Anurata, you, you have some Mepi? Yep, I got some Mepi. Okay. All right. You guys I'm know giving... how much? Can you just switch it? Uh, you can't. 
All right. Uh, did you guys figure out your dose of epi? I'm sorry. So, yeah, it was four kilos. So, what four? Point four makes. Does that point four milliliters? It's time for a post Check. Okay. Check. Check. Okay. Check pause. I would have went and got my pals card. I do not feel so any pulses. We had pulses with compressions, but they seem to be gone. Okay, we're we're due for another shock too at this point. Okay. Um, so do you want me to give the epi or give the shock? Um, both. I mean, give the. We can hold okay. off the epi. The shot's more important right now. Whatever okay, okay. I thought you already gave it. Okay. Um, no, because I didn't hear the so dose. Sorry. Okay. I'm this gonna, would I'm be gonna... this would be four joules per kilogram. So this would be sixteen joules. All right. So it's charge. Hands off. Shock. Shock delivered. Okay. Oh, it's time for a pulse check. Pulse check, please. Okay. We'll do a pulse check. Compression sold. Okay, I feel a pulse. Okay, we can stop compressions. Are we spontaneously breathing? Can you feel a pulse? Uh, yep, we are. Okay. How does the patient look to you? He looks a little better. He's not blue anymore. He's definitely picking up a little bit. He's still kind of out of it, but he's definitely picking up a little bit. Okay, I mean, how's my face? If we're not done, I'd like to check another sugar, blood gas, see his acidotic state and uh, blood glucose. Okay, sure. And cool. his K and everything. Okay, Why great. don't we pause there on your auto? Yep. Good job, Matt. Um, what was so, your thought process? So this kid came in, he was not true like not fully um but he was at risk for adrenal crisis he did have hyper k but his sodium was fine his glucose was fine and i forget his um his exact ph but i don't think he was that acidotic um but he was a little lethargic and breathing fast probably from some acidosis um we saw the um, monitor Matt, before you go too far into the guts of the case tell me more about adrenal crisis like what do you mean by that what is this CAH diagnosis mean? Where did it come from? What are we talking about? So the most common in this age range that we get picked up on the newborn screen is 21 hydroxylase deficiency. Yep, absolutely. So they do not produce mineral corticoids or cortico. The enzyme is deficient. You can't make cortisol. Cortisol is necessary for stress response necessary for salt metabolism so they are hyponatremic and hyperkalemic but all the other functions of the adrenal gland are unblocked and they're overstimulated because the feedback loop is saying you need more steroid you need more steroid so absolutely right 21 hydroxylase is one of many enzymes but it's the most common one so what was the immediate Thing that you were trying to deal with, Matt, that you were worried about. You said, all right, well, we got a lab and this lab is abnormal. I got to do something about it. The potassium would eat something. Yep. And you asked about an EKG because why? What was that going to tell you? Um, there's varying degrees of um, EKG changes based on hyper-K and how severe and acute it is. And so peaked T waves and then I forget the order, but you get an increased what QRS and then the P wave flattens over time and um okay. and you progress you get a wider wave. QRS complex right you and your team quickly identified the things to try to prevent this and get the K down let's go through what your suggestions were to bring the K down what drugs what maneuvers were you trying to get so we initially did calcium gluconate for um myocyte stabilization Yep. Um, but that does nothing for the K itself. And then we were doing temporizing measures with insulin to try to push K into the cell from the intravascular space. And Great. we you did a lot of that with, is this guy breathing? All right, well, Dr. Slayman, can you start bagging? And you were able to see me come into the frame and start bagging. So 
remembering and kind of practicing that closed loop communication, even in this virtual reality setting, is definitely something that's important to us and will make you guys better teammates and better code leaders when you're doing this at the bedside in real life. Thank you. This was great. Was like, All right, guys. Like Thank you so much. That's very sweet. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Great job.